Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of our Biz Thrive Snaps, where we are showcasing small businesses so they thrive today, tomorrow, and in the future. And today we are talking to Precious L. Williams of Perfect Pitches by Precious. I love it. Love it. Love. How are you, Precious? I am well. Yeah? I'm, well, I'm feeling good in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, that's awesome. Well, do us a favor and tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, thank you for asking. So I'm Precious. I'm from the inner city of St. Louis, Missouri. I grew up in very difficult circumstances. And as I look back over my life, honestly, I can't believe where I came from to where I am today. When I was a little girl, I was always told that I was ugly and stupid and, you know, I'd never amount to anything because no one in my family had ever amounted to anything of success by the world standards. But it's funny, you know, as my mother used to say these horrific things to me, it's like this little light inside of me kept saying, you're a star. But everything around me was saying there's no, that there's no way. It's no way. And I used to say, I, I can't wait till I live in New York City. I can't wait till I get on planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> and to know that I get to do that today is amazing. I never thought that I could talk my way just by talking, just by speaking, that I could speak my way into history. Nice. That's so, so beautiful. That's I'm just someone who... I, I was always told I would never make it, and I just believed I could. And so despite every odd, I kept believing that there was a truth inside of me that no one could see. And so it's me. That's beautiful. And it's so relevant and perfect that you're perfect pitches by Precious. That yes. is just awesome. That is so you. And I've only known you for a few minutes. <laughs> Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. So tell us a little bit about Perfect Pitches by Precious. I mean, what do you do? So I'm glad, again, glad you asked. So as a 13-time national elevator pitch champion, I didn't think that I, I didn't know before I started pitching that I had a gift for it. I've been an international professional speaker since I was 16. Oh, wow. I'm 41 years old now which means I've done this for 25 years. Nice. So what I do at Perfect Pitches by Precious is I work with women entrepreneurs and speakers. They've already been successful in their realms, but they are in transition and they really want to start something new where they're able to articulate to media, to investors, to their most ideal prospects, why they are first choice in their products and their services, their businesses, their brands, and just overall who they are. Nice. And so I teach the art and the science of the killer elevator pitch, <laughs> media pitch, investor pitch, and speaking pitch. And when you say they're in transition, are they just in transition of wanting to up level the business or the career that they're at, or are they literally pivoting to different businesses, different, you know, uh, areas of their professional life? Well, it could actually be both. I'm a former attorney in a great state of New York. <laughs> and so I understand pivoting. I understand changing. When I started my first company, I had negative $400 in my bank account. Mm. And I quit all of my legal jobs. And so I literally pitched myself because I had no, nothing else. And I had this dream for curvy girls lingerie. Nobody believed in me, but I pitched myself to the producers at MSNBC and turned negative $400 into $500,000 in one appearance. Wow. Me being a pitch master, and that's what I am. I'm the killer pitch master. And I teach my clients how to slay all competition with authenticity, with transparency, and just by kicking ass all day. <laughs> I wrote a book called Bad Bitches and Power Pitches for women entrepreneurs and speakers only because that's my group. That's my tribe that fits my vibe. Right. 
Right. So when you ask that question of the either or, I'm here to tell you it's both because I've done both in my life. Right. And, you know, again, I said these women were successful in what they did, but now they want to transition into a greater level or they're realizing that the corporate grind isn't what they want and they have talents and skill sets that they haven't even tapped into yet. And because I can hear what's said and also what's not said, they're always surprised that I know exactly what they need. <laughs> Damn. You, you're, you know, I can just sense that your clients wouldn't, don't go bad, you know, lining up with you. That's for damn sure. But I, and I also want to make a comment. I used to be a lingerie buyer for many years. <laughs> and you already, okay. <laughs> you already know what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Well, you already answered a couple of my questions in regards to the clients you serve um, and all that good stuff. Um, and before we get to the last couple, can you give one or two tips uh, like right now with all of these, you know, cause our predominantly our uh, shedding the bitch community, our shift to riches community, ball of fire community are women. Although we have men, uh, they're both corporate and professional, but what is one or two things with all the transition people are going through that they need to be focused on when it comes to presenting themselves, pitching themselves. I love that. Most people will tell you, that it's all in how you look. And I'm here to tell you because I'm different. It's in how you show up. Yep. Which may sound different, which may not sound too different. It is. It is. I literally had nothing when I started. So I didn't have all the fancy clothes and everything that I have today. But what I had was talent. And all it needed was an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so preparation is key. I have been on stages with some of the greatest speakers in the world and mopped the floor up with them <laughs> because I have had, had rock star confidence. I don't care that somebody wears Fendi Gucci Prada. That means nothing to me. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Because my talent will overwhelm you. Right. In fact, my talent, like the talent of the many women entrepreneurs and speakers I work with is bipolar, it's extreme. Now it's time to focus and harness. So the two things I want to say, how do you show up? Before you even enter the space where you're going to kill it, you have to have the kind of confidence that will lay it the smack down. Us. Before you enter the room, your presence should enter. Yep. Your presence should. And number two, why should someone work with you? If you don't have at least 150 reasons in your arsenal for why somebody should work with you, you ain't doing this right. And I don't mean your talents, your skill sets, and your abilities. That's great. We already know. Right. What's fun facts about you? What is something that people always say about you? People always talk about my energy. It's different from most speakers. <laughs> How I come into a room is very different. I'm loud. And I embrace it. <laughs> Me too. What are some of the things you've overcome that your ideal clients need help in getting to? For example, a lot of people don't have clients right now or they're struggling to find clients. If your messaging isn't right because you haven't specifically asked them what they need right now, or if you don't have the vision to take them from where they are right now convincingly because you've had to do it, it won't work. Mm -hmm. So when you write those 150 reasons why, you have to not go on just your own mind. Ask your friends, your trusted fellow entrepreneurs, people who know you, some people who, who, who've just been watching you on social media. Ask them, what is it about you that sparkles? Why do they keep following you? And that's going to go into one of those 150 reasons. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times we're not convinced of our own greatness. And then when we hear other people and we can read it daily, morning and night, I tell you, I kick ass. I, I ain't worried about nothing. And I want my clients just like that rock star. You may walk in there feeling like a bum when you enter that way. Before you enter that space, it's, it's showtime. Like Broadway, it's showtime. <laughs> so on that note, what are the real benefits and value of, I mean, well, I, we can kind of all conclude it from, you know, from our conversation, but 
What, how would you summarize the benefits and the values clients get by working with you? So again, the benefits to working with me is if you're looking to scale and grow your company and you have no idea how to get in front of an investor, how to attract an investor, and how to get them to want to give you them dollars and cents that's going to help you scale and grow, that's one benefit. Number two, if you've never quite cracked the code on how to get media attention that you know will blow your business up in the right circles and get influencers and the type of people who you need to be around, I can get you that media attention. And I'm talking about top attention. I told you I've been on everything from Shark Tank, CNN, Wall Street Journal, Forbes Magazine, uh, documentaries, movies around the world. And I told you I'm from the inner city of St. Louis, Missouri. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did that. And I did that for my clients too. And number three, if you really are struggling with your messaging for your ideal clients, allow me to help you. Because I've been a speaker for 25 years and because I've been a pitch master and people started coming to me and that's why I created my company. It's right. because what I do naturally, most people don't. And that's how I, the benefits of working with me. So, but oh, and hey, speaking engagements right now, I can show you how. <laughs> well, and I want to go one level deeper as far as once you get them the media attention, once you get them in front of investors and they get money, once you give them the message that will attract their customers, what are they telling you that that's doing for them personally? What is it doing for them? Let me, let me, by, let me, let me give you an example that I got today that brought tears to my eyes. Tiffany Watts is a serial entrepreneur. She started to lose confidence in herself because mm -hmm. she wanted to start a new company. Five days before a pitch competition for big money, she contacted me and she says, I don't have all the money to be able to pay you, but I need your help. And I heard the hunger. I heard it. And I said, if I, if I work with you, I'm going to kick your ass. She said, so be it. It took me two hours to write her pitch, two days to train her. She placed second in the competition. Nice. Not only did she place second, the first place winner, none of the investors cared enough to even speak to her afterwards. They all were reaching for the second place winner. Even a third place winner, nobody cared about. Nice. She's just yeah not only did i win money that day she said i have bigger prizes now that i'm fighting for nice and she, without your help they wouldn't have known my name i'm a black woman and people don't care about us and she said you cared enough to work with me and now the big investors are interested in her innovative product Awesome. That is, that is moving, moving, I tell you. Perfect pitches by Precious. That, yes. is, that is absolutely awesome. I was going to say perfect. <laughs> um, all right. So how would someone reach out to you and get, get together with you? Okay. So my, the, the way you can get in contact with me, my website is www.perfectpitchesbypress.com precious.com perfect pitches p-i-t-c-h-e-s by precious.com awesome. you can also go on linkedin and find me i'm precious williams killer pitch master on facebook perfect pitches p <laughs> twitter at perfect pitch p and on instagram at perfect Pitches P. I have a podcast, Pitching My Ass Off podcast. Nice. It goes with the goes with the brand. You know how we do. Nice. And if yeah. you want to read my book to you know see how I really get down in these streets, it's <laughs> called Bad Book Empower Pitches for Women Entrepreneurs and Speakers Only, which was a number one bestseller. And there's only one person who wrote it, Precious Williams, Precious L. Williams. There you go. And but, but you need to repeat, repeat the uh, title of the book because you cut out. Oh, Bad Bitches 
and power pitches for women entrepreneurs and speakers only. Nice. Amazon bestseller, you can everybody. Amazon, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at Barnes and Nobles. You can get it online. If you if the stores ever open up, you can actually get it in the store, but get it online. Right, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Well, Precious, thank you so much for being here. It's been perfect. <laughs> and thank I you appreciate- so much for the opportunity. You've been You're- beautiful. You're welcome. And I appreciate you taking the time. And anyone out there, if you have a small business you want to showcase so you can thrive today, tomorrow, and in the future, then please reach out to me. You can DM me on Facebook. You can comment in any one of our, um, our uh, posts. You can come out to me directly at BernadetteBose at BollifierInc.com. But be sure to join our Shift to Riches private group forum on Facebook. That's where all of these showcases will be uh, distributed and you'll have an opportunity to also showcase your business. Thanks everyone. We'll see you for the next episode of Biz Thrive Snap. Thanks, Precious. Thanks.